Good morning and welcome back to The Daily Vitamin, where you get your daily dose of spiritual sweetness. Oh, my friends. So the messages have been really good, really good. Um, I'm curious, where what's going on in your world? Like, Where are you at in your journey? How are these messages landing for you? I really, really love hearing from you and celebrating all the celebrations and supporting you as necessary. Whatever's going on in your world, this is all orchestrated, it's all connected, and we are all one. So I really appreciate all the the love and the messages that you share my way, that you share your stories and bits of your journey, and even just how these messages land, how you take them to heart. All of this, I'm just, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for you, and I love all of your communication. I love hearing about what's going on in your world. I love your questions. I just, I just love it all. I just love it all, and I love you. I just love, love, love. <laughs> so my friends, we've had some, some juicy messages coming through, and there's a lot of blessings that are coming in now. Well, hard-won, well-deserved blessings that are coming in. And today, we've got the message of digital detox. Digital detox. Now, I feel that this is almost like asking you to just like take a take a breather, right? Take a minute. As much as I love you tuning in every day, right? As love as much as I love the the likes and the subscribes and even the memberships over on Side Gym, I just I love it all. The participation over there, I love it all. There is a message that I really want you to truly honor right now. I really want you to take this to heart of maybe challenging yourself to take some time away from the laptop, from the phone, from the smart TV, which honestly is not that smart. I don't know about you. My smart TV is the dumbest. Anyway, (laughs) I digress. Challenge yourself to take some time away and, you know, maybe do like a full fledged as they call it like dopamine detox right like instead of listening to music on your drive sit in silence right instead of you know plugging into the video game every night to zone out after work you know to decompress maybe take a bath or read a book or you know light a candle and have a conversation with someone that you love or you know just do something a little bit different that does not involve the digital world consuming content plugging into other people's energies and messages because the reason that i feel like this is coming in is because you are receiving god's caring provisions into your life you're receiving this divine providence you're receiving these blessings and you are being how shall i say it comes with information of what to do with this and how to treat this i'm hearing you use it wisely right? Use it wisely. By disconnecting digitally, right? By not constantly scrolling on the gram, by not engaging in heated debates on X, by not constantly refreshing your YouTube feed to see if there's any new um, tarot readings or any, right? Any new videos that are catching your fancy. By, By removing yourself from that never ending cycle of just constantly being fed other people's energy and information. You have some downloads to receive. You have some, I'm hearing clarifying to do. Okay, what am I hearing? Whims and fancy. Maybe getting clear on your own whims and fancy. And I love how my guides are putting that. They're saying whims and fancy. What is your, what is your whim and what do you truly fancy? Right, do you really <laughs> want to spend your money on something that you're being sold on Instagram? Or do you want to spend your money on something that is literally generating from your own desires? Or really plugging into your own needs, right, overall? So taking a break from the the digital overload and overwhelm, giving yourself a breather from this, and plug into source instead. Connect to your oversoul. Right, talk to your higher self. Tap into your own stream of consciousness and bring that through to really get clear on how do you want to allocate these provisions? Right? What what do you want to do with these blessings? Whether they're literally here in your hand or not, if they're on their way, you trust they're on their way, you feel that they're on their way. What do you want to do with this? How are you going to treat this? You are the shepherd of this energy. 
gonna leave it there. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Love you. Bye.